Hello guys and welcome back to another actor portrait. I apologize if my voice sounds somewhat hoarse, but I've been fighting off a cold lately, so I'm gonna try and power through this and make sure I get this up for you guys and start getting some intensity like I need in my life. So today we're gonna be talking about Sick Ephron, or as I like to call him, Sick Ephron. Zachary Ephron is globally known for being the face of a high school musical. He seems to suffer from the same fate of Toby McGuire to have a soft, wafty man face. Except, Zack is on the other side of the manly man skin as a dream book, while Toby is most likely the cool looking nerd guy who every black person that's the best cool. Zack has continued to find successful high profile roles while McGuire has kind of slinked into Seattle so that to work the world with such movies as The Fifth Wave. Early on, Zack was a question star of a high school musical. During the early 2000s, the drama of teen musical to high school drama was a shit. Despite what jokes we may make by now, high school musical was huge in its heyday. I mean, just look at the numbers. In Neighbors, Zach took on a new role as mentor, surprisingly, and role that demonstrated his maturity both personally and professionally. The film almost pokes fun at his uh, archetype, as he realizes he's no longer a college frat boy. He can't hang out with the young kids and be cool. But he is simply hanging on onto the last of his core days. And is an adult that has real responsibilities and real bills. It can kind of be synchronized with his growth and his role from Troy Bolton to his own new grown up persona. His role in Baywatch was another role switched back to the hotshot newcomer. And this is the role that I see Zach kind of excelling in. These are roles I actually enjoy watching him in. You see, Zack is naturally typecast as a young gun, just like Morgan Freeman is almost universally typecast as an old wise black man or omniscient being. Well built, the almost perfectly sculpted face, bright blue eyes, just a big coolest, naive, very brash. I can't think of better words to describe Efron's usual characters than the feel I get from him, and none of those descriptors are meant to be negative. I personally feel like he'll do fantastic in Top Gun remake. He's got the looks, the ability to sell the hot shot personality, and if he'd be willing to do his own stunt, it'd be awesome remake of Win My Brothers and Eyes for your movies. Well guys, what do you think? Do you guys like this type of content? Um, hopefully my voice wasn't getting too annoying, but uh, next week I should definitely feel a lot better. I'll also be uploading a video game review later on this week, though um, this as this week is being fight week for my first fight. Uh, we'll see how that goes along. Anyway, guys, subscribe and hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.